I saw some roads and it's written there Michel D roads. What I regret is that the windscreen got fogged. So we're gonna try to capture better footage on the way down to show you those amazing roads. All right. So as I said earlier, uh, I chose this destination because of the roads. And my God, look at this right now. Look at that. This is like initial D kind of roads. If you're looking for the best protection for your car, look no further to expel. I put my cars through harsh conditions like constant B road blasting, road trips, and occasional track days, and I want my car to look the best. And Expel's Ultimate Plus Paint Protection Films never fail to protect the paint on my cars while keeping it looking amazing. All Expel's products, including Prime Window Tints, come with an official e warranty from the manufacturer, which gives me an additional confidence and maximum peace of mind when using their products. And this allows me to be fully present and enjoy all my experiences with my cars wherever I go and whatever I do. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Expel's products and their official dealers in Malaysia. Protect everything you love with Expel. Okay, I won't go at really high speeds because uh, number one, it's a foreign country. And uh, number two, this car is not meant for uh, those kind of uh, speeds. Okay, the Toyota Century is a cruiser, it's a limousine but uh, you know my experience so far with it is that the car actually you know although it's weight it, it feels very confident yeah wow you've got two lanes to yourself this is amazing yeah of course you, you can't go crazy speeds because the speed limits are not that high here in Japan just look at that. This, this is what you get from video games. And look at that scene. Oh my god. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, you don't have to drive fast to sort of enjoy all of this. You can just sort of taking the sceneries as you go. Oh. This is why we drive, guys. Like, you know, you, you take a car, I mean, you take a train, you know, you get from one destination to the other, but. But everything in between, all this, you can absorb all of this in while driving. Yeah. Oh gosh. Look at that. Look at these roads. Right out from the video game. Probably Takumi san will be doing some drifting over here. Okay, to, for the record, I don't really follow Initial D. <laughs> I, know, I know that I've seen some scenes and stuff like that. I know some of the character names and all, and some of the cars, but and I think this is one of the few roads that you can play in the arcade. Yeah, so we're currently in Sports Plus mode. Uh, I haven't tried this mode my whole entire trip because there's no need to, I'm always in comfort mode. So in Sports Plus mode, it's, uh, you can feel the air suspension stiffening up. The car is a little bit lower. And as a result of the car stiffening up, you get more feedback from the road. Uh, it is not by any means uncomfortable. It is still very comfortable in Sports Plus. Uh, engine response, supposedly a little bit more exciting, but I, I can't really feel it. It's not a great engine in the, in the first place, right? Never meant to be exciting. This V8 is, you know, buttery smooth. It has a lethargic feeling to it this works because it's a limousine you don't want it to be too powerful or jerky uh, then you yank the person you know uh, behind you and you feel uncomfortable and all hybrid power um, also makes the driving more smooth yeah but yeah it's very easy to, to place the car where I want to go yeah but after a few corners right now it just it's just amazed me like this is a two-ton limousine and yet I'm able to just drive it with so much confidence I can place it wherever I want to go you know of course I'm not on my limits but you know and I, I never have this any hesitancy in you know putting the car where I want to go can't say that about the S-Class especially the previous gen that I spent some time with yeah I can't say about that yeah oh wow Look at that. Just look at that. That valley. Oh my gosh. I'm 
definitely coming back here with an MX-5. Ooh, the tire marks on the floor. Someone's been naughty on this road. Yeah, brakes, very good. Okay, again, not sporty kind of brakes, but good enough for the car of its weight and size. Can always stop with confidence. Ooh, this is a tight hairpin. Oh, I think this is the last few sets of hairpins and I'm done for this drive. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh wait, <laughs> there are much more hairpins coming up. Alright. So what I, I like about what they've done is that they got one way up the mountain, two lanes, and coming down is one lane. So it allows you to really use the whole set of roads from right to left, the left, left to right. I think it helps the buses as well, the big cars to get around this. Uh, well, not big cars, but big transportation to get around these corners. Oh gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We gotta be careful. Oh yeah, and there's a uh, rear wheel steer as well. It really helps me to get around the corners. And look, there's a little pothole over there. I'm in sports pass mode, and I just we just glided through it like it's nothing. <laughs> Very good setup with the air suspension. Oh wow. Wow we wow wow wow. Let's see if I can sneak in a photograph here. Be right back. Okay, I just have to... Oh, there's nobody. Do touristy things. Let's continue on our merry journey down. Ah, oh, I wish there's a drone following me. So you can get like a bird's eye view of how this place looks like. I think I'm pretty much done with the corners. Yes! Oh, wow. What a drive. So that's it, guys. That's the end of that little toge up that mountain to Chu Genzi. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher the name again. Uh, it was really, really fun. Uh, those roads were just epic, right? They were, they were literally out of a uh, computer game, or rather, the computer games took this road um, but yeah, for a gaijin or foreigner like me you know we've seen this in initially arcade games and stuff like that but just like, seeing it in real life seeing the hairpins folding on top one and another it's just amazing right <laughs> next time I'm coming back here with a sports car all right at least an MX-5 you know I, I think the box still will be really nice giving the sound to ricochet off the, the stones and the and stuff but you know Japanese car in Japan, right? Why not? The MX-5. Oh yeah, this trip has just been epic in so many proportions, uh, which I'm kind of sad right now because I'm at the end of my trip. This is my last drive. And in a couple of hours, uh, I'll be handing this car back over to the dealer. Uh, sorry, the uh, used car, you know, rental company. But I just... <sighs> Japan is just so beautiful. The, the roads are so nice. Uh, people are courteous on the road. People are courteous in person. The hospitality is great. I mean, you, you guys got to, if you haven't been to Japan, you know, you got to experience the hospitality. Um, they are not as warm as, say, as the Thai people um, or as lively as some of the Indonesians. But, you know, 
there's just always this sense of welcome, the sense of uh, courtesy, respect. Um, you know, I, I've seen, you know, the hotel staff sending people off in buses, you no know, tour buses and stuff, and they will bow when they when they depart, and and then they bow again until they leave their site. You know, things like this. Of course, sometimes there'll be a language barrier, but people they try, you know, they and everything they do. I notice, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is not all Japanese, but most of the things and most of the people who do things they do things properly over here, yeah. So that's that's amazing. So, epic roads, uh, very nice. I mean, epic views, right? I, I mean, <laughs> just beautiful, beautiful views all the way from Izu to here, and I bet the rest of Japan is the same as well. Uh, very nice people, uh, beautiful architecture. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing experience. I just want to take this moment to be, you know, to really just get in touch with how grateful I am to be able to experience all of this. You know, um, being being an entrepreneur ten years ago, I or even before when I was still being an employee, I I couldn't see myself having this sort of experiences. Yeah. So I'm just really thankful that it all led me to here today. <sighs> to more trips. To more trips. Yeah. So yes, uh, I'm going to be heading over the car. Will I miss this car? Of absolutely. Uh, you know, thank you again so much uh, for the rental company to let me rent this car. Uh, it's something I'll never be able to experience uh, outside Malaysia. Will I want to rent this car again? Probably not. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, it's not really my cup of tea. But I can really appreciate this car. In fact, uh, after spending five days in this car, if I one day ever to be shopped around, which I think the day was likely not to happen, uh, I'll pick this car. You know, it's uh, Malaysia. Probably you can import this for six, seven hundred thousand ringgit. Now with the Japanese yen weakening, it does. Uh, you know shop at a pretty decent price but albeit it's a hybrid and uh, you can get the competition for cheaper you know like uh, you know maybe an i7 or maybe even a s class and get local warranty and stuff like that but it's a century it's cool right kakoi <laughs> right this is the car of the entrepreneurs uh the big bosses and uh from what i heard also sometimes the yakuza bosses they get driven around this car as well i don't know even because that's a thing today. I'm, I'm, I mean, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, but yeah, Japan is amazing. Definitely coming back here again. I will plan the trip back here again. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. Ah. Yeah, I'm just feeling sad that um, I'll be departing today. So that's it for this uh, series of vlogs. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please help me hit the subscribe button and uh, like my channel. And um, you know, check out some other contents in my channel and also my other channel, Keep It 100 Talks. We do podcasts around mindset, money, and lifestyle. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in another video. And for those of you from Malaysia, I'll see you in Malaysia. All right? Keep It 100. As always, love you guys. Peace out.